Whenever you're involved in an accident of any kind with inside a vehicle, your door has to stay shut. I don't care if you're in a frontal, a side, an impact, a rollover, even if you have your seatbelt on, you will be outside the vehicle after the, uh, after the rollover or the frontal is over or the side's over because the, uh, the door provides a very, very specific restraint functions. When you are ejected outside the vehicle, you have a 360 times greater chance of killing yourself, of being killed, because you are now outside the safe confines of the vehicle. If you are not killed and your door opens up, you are going to get your arms cut off or your leg cut off or you may get a flail, chest flail injury and die because your chest wall has collapsed, okay? Now, we have been having problems with doors coming open since the 30s. How do we know? Here's testing on the Model T. During rollovers, the 1980, the 1980 Ford F-150 pickup truck had the identical failure as this GMC SUV that we see here. Now you think, well, these are all low cars. Well, not really. That's a 2012 Ford F-150. Now, what's unique about that test is that's a fuel system test that they run on the opposite side. So what was Ford's fix when they were running fuel system cases? Uh, testing, they said, let's make certain we remove the doors on any future tests so as not to create any embarrassing information. All right.